Hey sellers, welcome back to part three of our going to church playthrough scenario ASL number 105. Uh, late war action between French Canadians and SS in France. Um, so this video is going to cover the last half of the game and an after action uh, chat. Uh, so it turns five and six and, and the rest. And um, <clears throat> things are looking uh, interesting. Basically, what you're looking at is the counter mix that's left on the board, um, stacked on three floors, two locations, and uh, a lot of close combat's going to be forthcoming to see how that goes. So, um, can the Germans hold on is the question. Uh, again, the strategy I took was to uh, basically skulk. I had two squads in a position to bring fire on anything approaching. And everybody else was back in E3 being uh, concealed for the first turn, from which then they would move into the church, spread out and such. Um, unfortunately, my one squad that was forward in, um, I guess that would be F4, was uh, smoked off. And um, therefore his fire was less than effective uh, as it could have been. And he was only on the one squad, so... In hindsight, I maybe could have put a, a, a guy on a first level and say F3 to cover down that road. And that way David would not have been in the building on the first turn as he was if he saw the first video. Um, <clears throat> a 658 with an LMG and a, and a, a leader is uh, a lot of firepower to bring, especially when you're adjacent. So uh, it's quite easily able to uh, um, keep Dave away, uh, kept breaking him. Especially that pesky 8-0 that keeps running around with the DC. Um, the thing just won't die. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, I, I probably could have had uh, a, another squad, maybe a half squad forward to help with the running down the road and ease of access to the building proper. But it is what it is. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's see how this goes. Um, part 3 of Going to Church. See you guys at the end of the video. Bye. Mm -hmm. Changes. <coughs> Rallies. Officer. Oh, yes. Oh, that was a set. Keeps coming back. That guy just won't die. That fucking demo charge is sizzling. It's ready. It's ready for you and your friends. Mm hmm. Yeah, you don't have to go anywhere. These guys are going to us all move up to the second floor. Okay. Well, I guess we'll fire six firepower plus three. Okay. Uh, nine. Nine. And six be nothing. Missed it by one. Uh, fire again, though. Yes. That'd be on the two table plus okay. three. Oh, Mary. Yeah. Up here. Um, this guy is going to let's all move up. Any big daisy chain? Mm. Yeah. Guess she can't shoot at him. And he will move to the ground floor. One. Mm -hmm. Two. And I'll uh, fire. Is that 11, 14 on the 28th table? Plus one. Uh -huh. Box colors. Another five. So six. Six on the 20, uh, what did I say? 24. 24, yes. What'd you? What'd you go? Uh, I've rolled a five, so it's six. Four, four MC. I can't okay. get a fucking high enough roll against you here. Oh, no. good. He made it. Son of a bitch. I'll fire again. Um, I can intensify that. If I intensify everything. It should be the same roll, right? Mm -hmm. No. It would be on the 12 table. Mm. 
Yeah, it'll be on the 12th because it'll be half uh, on the 12th plus one. Oops. Three? Damn. All oh, cowers. So it's on the eight. So three and the eight. Casually Is he reduction. finally dead? <laughs> well, it's casually reduction. And it's your sniper, too. So we we'll see if he's wounded. Right. He's wounded. Well, yeah. He's not dead, is what I'm saying. Right, right. So then you won't have enough move to place the DC? Uh, I guess not. That's good, anyways. I'm still alive. Can't believe he's still fucking dead. No. Uh, and your sniper. You can't get enough. Any good roll here? No. So, sniper. No. <sighs> about to say wouldn't that be the fucking the game winner well hold up one second I mean you could always throw it I suppose that's what I'm on man. so I'm gonna throw it hello I can't remember if I got a raid. I don't think I got a raid on me. When I defensive fired on your guy, I don't think I had raid on me. Yet. Well, you intensive fired it the second time, so I'm assuming you, you didn't roll. Well, I fired everything, but I didn't. I didn't calculate. I forgot if I rolled raid or oh. not on that first one. I don't think I did. Yeah, I can't remember. So it doesn't matter. All right, so do your throw and see. Well. So, uh, on the 30 table, plus five? Yep. And you also have a chance of... Hurt myself. You have a plus three in addition to the train, I guess. Mm -hmm. So you have a plus six, I have a plus five. Roll away. So I roll yours, and then I roll mine. If you wish. You can roll the other way. What's that? You can roll the other way if you want. See if I'm dead right away. I mean, you can't kill this guy. It's like Keith Richards, man. That's right. That's right. Get that my hair one or something. All right, thirty plus uh, five. Events and fire phase. Let's do this. Twelve is a dud, right? I would imagine. I think. I think you're right. Yes. No, I mean like I think a twelve is a dud. If you're all twelve, yeah. there's no result. Yeah. Okay, so we're looking at plus five. Two plus five. I see it as a four trip. How you feeling? Good? Fifteen. Nothing. <laughs> oh. All that for nothing, Dave. Well, no. Holy I have... shit, man. Hold on. I get to hurt myself. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's, let's stop the pain. Yeah. Oh, my Jesus Christ. I think Christ. it just killed me. Wait, uh. Plus five or no? Uh, you're plus, a plus six. six. So eight is a three MC. And he's already wounded. He's already wounded. So. so he's a seven. Oh, he's wounded again. No, no. Hold on. Yeah, he's a I seven a plus one. Wound roll on a four plus. He's uh three because he's wounded already. No, no. It's only plus one. So he's dead. But right, 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 right. Yeah, it's only plus one. So it's yeah, four yeah. plus after that. So he okay. killed himself. I guess he tripped. <laughs> Fell on it. Snake eyes. That's my sniper. Those rolls shouldn't flipped. That would have been perfect because that would have. <laughs> that was another one of my Hail Marys here. Uh, fucking. Okay, so uh, I'll continue to fire here. Wow. So. Eight plus one. Eight. Plus one. Uh, roll. I told you you should have reversed those rolls. <laughs> so seven on the eight is a okay. one MC. Yeah. So I need a six and a seven. So six. Leader's pinned. And the three, four, eight is groovy. Hmm.
and I should play different nationality. That's it. Give me the dice instead of go. Advance phase. Well, everybody's advancing in. So this and this and this is that. CC. So we'll do this. So you're staying with the heavy squash, your leader. No, he'll go with the other squad, just like that. Uh, so which one do you want to do first, the house squads or we'll do this one? Roger, Roger. So uh, six to four again. I'm three to two, and you. I'm going all in. So six, one to two. Uh, three to two. You're one to two all the way. But uh, I know I'm more sensitive. Come on, big roll. <sighs> Negative. 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 Got me half okay. a squad. Three two. No. Or no. I'm three to two. Oh, okay, three. No rolls today. And then, uh, got a pin. So we do ambush. I get a plus two because I'm pinned. You have a neg two because you're a leader. So you're probably going to get an ambush. Yeah. Unless I roll a one. Yeah, uh, I got an ambush. Uh, yeah, that's right because you're a neg two. Yeah. And you're. That's funny. You both roll ones. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> so I have four firepower and you have nine. Two to one. Yeah. Let's do with the neg three. three. So we need eleven or twelve to fail. Almost how I said that. Shit. Almost. Yeah, you tried. <laughs> Don't fucking jinxing that. Now would be a good time to set your demo charge and just blow that whole fucking hex. Yeah. Kill everything. Everything would die. Oh, it already blew. Oh, that's true. That's. And it didn't get a KIA, right? Um. Do it. Wow. It got snake eyes on my This hex. is a fun melee. <laughs> it got a snake eyes on my hex. I know. I gotta admit, when I came here, I was rather apprehensive about how this all gonna go down. I always hate playing a snare for the first time. You never, you don't have any idea, right? Mm. I get nerves, you know, if you don't believe. Wouldn't change. At least my snake eyes. Mm. Uh, there's no rallies and no prep players. <laughs> guys are concealed on the top floor. So, one, two, three, and you had, what, two squads in there? Mm hmm So, I split up everything. As long as I don't shoot anything, I might be able to pull this off. Well, you should be able to pull it off. You just, just stay away from Well, I, that's what I'm saying. i got to hide in a place where you can't shoot and then advance into close combat. And on the plus side, everything's going to be concealed by that turn. So, um, I mean, you got uh blockers right there, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's true. Oh, yeah, what do you want to say? Thank you. So, let's go to move. So, he's gonna sit there on the first floor. This guy's gonna sit here on the first floor, and that guy's gonna block in the bottom. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna knock over my LMG, and then they're all concealed. Now, right? yeah, they're all concealed. I did think about shooting, like having guys on the outside of the building shoot. Obviously. Okay. Hoping to have my sniper shelf for fucking up. 
I never thought about using block on units, and that makes such perfect sense. Oh. I don't, I don't think tactically like you do. I really don't. I'm, I'm the, I'm the kind of guy that would charge up the road there. <clears throat> um, I guess we go right to move. I guess you could always try scaling, take your chances. No, nope, I'm going to. Uh... Well, I guess it wouldn't matter. There's still there's three units, and you only have two squads, so. I'm going to try. Uh, change your head off. The fucking machine gun is bigger than the other cars. Assault move. Mm -hmm. Assault move. I'll be on it. You choose to fire. I'll stay concealed and take my chances. And I'm not going to advance fire. Don't face. Fuck, I'm sweating. Buttons. In we go. What do you think about playing at night? It's okay. Just more people in my house at this time. Mm. I pull melee things out. Of course we do. <laughs> and uh Ambush. Which one do you want to do? Let's do the one with the officer over here. Roger, Roger. So we're both concealed. <coughs> and you get an A2. Okay. So you're at a uh minus four, I'm at a minus two. Uh, same. Same. Are you choosing to fight? Um. That was my first. Um, first time not choosing to fight. Because I would be at one to two odds. I will fight. So I will be at two to three. One to two. With an egg, too. That's right. So a five. This is a miss. And we're still concealed. CCU. And I never thought about staying concealed in a close combat again. Yeah. I've never never read that far in. So this one here. Uh, so we're both an egg, too. Both people. Um, a no, three. Nothing. And uh, obviously, uh, two to one and one to two. I will attack unless you're not. No, you're not two to one though. Are you attacking? Um, no, I'm gonna hold off again. So uh, again, I need a four. No. Uh, I'm not gonna attack, so you can uh, attack. Close combat. I think you can fire to. in your prep fire phase. Triple. Fire oh, that's fire. right. I could. That's right. Cause Stu did that. Just a thought. If uh, I didn't say I was going to do it, but that yeah, I'll, I'll try and remember that next time. Well, You're right. Cause I can I can fire. Cause I would be on the. Well, do you not want to fight? Are you going to keep your concealment? Do you think? Eight plus three. I guess it doesn't make any difference. Uh, I'll do A plus three. Because it's not like a huge... If your squad was bigger, it might fucking cause a casualty. Yeah. You're going to try it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's tripled as a nine on the H table plus three. Okay. Jesus. Six on the eight. One check. Not even my fucking sniper. One check? Yeah. Ugh. Uh, eight pinned. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, may as well try this one as well. Eight plus uh, three. Stu's gonna want to buy your fucking dice. Six nine, yeah, nine on the eight is a penny. Any fast check? 
Officer. It's good. And it's good. Okay, so now you're defensive fire. D fire. Probably should have waited till advancing. <clears throat> that would have been tripled and then half. Now we don't have a chance to fire back. But I guess it wouldn't matter. Okay, so. Well, I would have fired. I guess I would have fired anyway. You just would have been concealed or anything. Oh, that's true. That's true. Um, so it's 12? Yep. <clears throat> uh, Plus one. Oh, I get 10 that. 10 tripled would be uh, on the 30 day mark. Yeah, 30. Shit. Plus one. Plus one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> there you go. Six on the 30. Six on the 30. K4. Jesus Christ, man. That'll do it. Maybe you should have. You That'll know, do it. Maybe stay, you should have. Stay concealed? No, you should have fought in the melee. Because <laughs> I was going to shoot anyway. Right, right, right. I, again, I didn't I didn't think about that. No, no, I neither did I. It's just and, uh, learning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you have two firepower tripled as six plus three. Right. Six plus three. There you go. Cow no, you don't cower. So five on the six is in one chip. Or two chip. One. That checks on you. Seven. Pinned. We're both pinned. Holy fuck. You we're know, both pinned. Luckily, like, like we're both under the counter. So. Do, you want, do you want your own pin counter? Or you... yeah, I'm, I'm happy. We can share. <laughs> Alrighty, so now it's uh, a horrible call. hand to hand. Um, I'm a three pinned. You're a four pinned. So I'm one and a half. No. I'm one and a half against four. So I'm I'm gonna be one to four. Okay. You're gonna be uh half two two three, so you're gonna be one to two still. Okay. Which doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. So I'm a three or a four. Okay. No. That fucking hey, four. Hey, you did it. Lost. Another, another turn. Now I'm thinking maybe. Uh, now I'm thinking maybe. Fighting the melee, having it in melee, locking. Because now. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Hmm. That was uh, interesting. I can see what you mean though about having the squad. Would you do the half squad thing, or would you just stay in your three squads and or four squads? And well, what's your machine gun? A four firepower? It's a uh, it's a five, but yeah. Six. Uh, even two, two, just a squad, six firepower, range of five, one, two, three, four, five. But I mean, the machine gun has weight. Mm -hmm. Well, the machine gun could put a fire. That's true. So uh, six, five, eight with a hero and the medium within four could get 12 firepower and have a chance of getting rid. Yeah, I was very surprised to see how you set up. Kind of let me get there, but... I mean, well, I, I I knew I would have to give up something. Either I either I stay front, and then again it's you know an A plus one shot, in stone, and whittle 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 whittle. This again my thought right. You have a couple fire bases that just whittle everything down. So I decided to stay back, gain concealment here, and then move forward there. Um, even and I was thinking, how would you guys set up on this side? You know, you have a guy here. Um, CXing, you got eight move, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, you're sitting right here in G4, or I mean, you don't have to have CX, but you have to one, two, three, four, five, six. Without CXing with the leader, you're sitting right here. That's what I'm thinking. Eh. So that's when I put the one squad at front here, <coughs> kind of a semi blocker, but everybody else is back here getting concealment, splitting up. I mean, there's a total of 12 locations in that building. Yeah. So you have to root out each one to get it. But if I had a one this combat, 
I think you'd be in a, a worse Oh, it'd be, state. definitely be a worse So situation. that's why I think having guys on the first level here so that no mm. one can just run down the mm. road, but a guy here. And, and because you or had got... Even doing that, but just leave the one guy here would probably have been... That's right. Would it would have changed things up? Like, And then seeing how the situation, you could even like move, move a guy over. Mm. But in the next... In your movement phase, if if the situation permitted, out to this house, I thought this house would. Uh yeah, you got to start with them three of e four. That's so, right. But I could start it here. I mean. No, but you don't want to be out in the open because I move and shoot first. Right? Well, you move first, but right over here, you nobody can see him. Well, I could go here. Right, but nobody could see him. He could still have a chance to fire, and then he's just has to assault move in. Oh, okay. Well, I just figured here, and you can assault move has a chance move, to shoot right? down the road. But, but like I said, if you had guys up here and maybe mm -hmm. here, it would mean I, I couldn't, I'd have to... You'd have to n navigate your way through. Wait, the, navigate my way through, and then you would go, boink. Yeah. And I thought, fuck. So I, I decided not to go this side. But then when I saw your setup, I first thought, okay, well, I should have set up differently. Obviously, uh, I should have just put all my squads without the LMGs here, and the ones with the LMGs should have gone to this location. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Fire across, and these guys were the assaulters. Kind of mix that one up. All right. But it was uh, it's a fun little something. It is. I like it. I do like it. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was saying. If there was one more turn, they'd be in, definitely in the herd locker. Yeah. Have to choose which guy to fire at. They're coming from both ways. Well, you don't have to do anything, Rob. Just sit there. Well, that's enjoy it. Right, but if there was one more turn, you're going to come down and shoot, then I got to... Well, why don't you come up and advance in the car? Well, that's all I would, but you're sitting under the stairs, so... Why don't you <clears throat> move okay. to here? I'm going to slow move into E5. <laughs> oh, shit, I left the building! <laughs> Good game. <laughs> yeah, They're serving snitch. I, I think this setup is this I think the setup wasn't horrible, but I probably wouldn't better at least to have something here to, uh, I think so. I think just having something on the first level in one of these two spots, maybe one squad each of the first level. Just to shoot over that. Well just to say again, that was my nobody's running down the video the you never see was I'm gonna have I had the uh, the medium here on the first level. There's a squad here on the first level and there's one up on the second level. Yeah. Yes, yeah, all three of them would have done been an awesome fire group for anything along the way. Well, like you said, the medium right here, nobody would be able to, like, you would just set up a fire lane. So that would have to be taken out. So if guys got here, it didn't matter. Like, well, assault movement, well, I'm setting up a fire lane. So mm -hmm. every guy trying to get across is going to fucking get fucked. Yeah, I think, I think that's probably your. Machine gun nest. Maybe you're sure if you want to put just a half squad. But, mm. I mean, the sixes are pretty... Like, if you put a, a machine gun with a full squad, the MG would leave... Can can you... Shh. I have to read up on uh, fire lanes again. I can't remember if you can fire lane and shoot that other shit with the squad. Does he use a ball here? But if you can... Fire lane goes down, and then the squad just is there. How does that leader not fucking die after being broken four or five times? Good God, and then he kills himself. <laughs> God damn it, career commando, eh? Yeah. <laughs> it was a good battle. I, 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 I was thinking, fuck, if I, if I won that fucking first little fight, you're so fucked. I was like, fuck, man, I'll be right across that road, and... Yep. But then my guys lose. lose. Yeah, again, the trade-off, you know, do I hunker back and hide? Which what a lot of guys do. They use that technique, and it seemed to work for a lot of their victories. Yeah. From the ASL scenario archive, you can read it. But see, I don't think it would have worked for you. If if, if you would have won, then obviously that, that combat... Well, you, you look how close it got. It, it, I think having something here... Is, is like a fucking speed bump. And then my biggest threat, like if I was, if I played the Germans and I did what I did, mm -hmm. I would have been running out this way to fucking cut cut off. Like, so nobody could break and, and move back. And 
Right. You know what I mean? Like, that was another reason why I thought if he gets this house, then fucking, you know, the guy's breaking. I mean, so you if you're down here and you ran up to this house and then in turn two, like, it's a, it just makes it more difficult mm. to get to the building itself. But you That's had nothing good. out there, right? And everything was hidden behind, so there was, like, clear lines clear of line. running. Clear running up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, again, the trade-off. Sometimes it works. But I thought about the shooting part of the game, and I thought, fuck, you know, there's six five eights. I'm going to lose that fucking kind of fight. That's true. It is hard to win a firefight with that kind of firepower. Yeah. The, the out- you, have, you have to fire group. You have to, you know, you have to have kill stacks, two yeah. squads. And, like, how long will they stay broken for? No, no, it's not like I'm breaking a bunch of... Right. Guys, they're not all going to break, you know, and it's like, fuck, man. And, and the amount of firepower to even cause a casualty reduction would be it's so big. So I'm thinking, fuck, I got to get up really close. Yeah. And then I start losing the, hand, or the close combat center. Oh, I mean, man, because. That's, yeah, see my setup there, and you put everybody here in, <laughs> in uh, three days of changes to get all the road bonus and just come charging up. And uh, those blockers, like, well, it works because I, I didn't realize it was the end of the game. And I didn't, ex- I thought you were going to fight in melee and so I would be trapped there. Mm-hmm. But then winning and shooting and them dying, I was like, holy fuck. So it's like, do you actually take the melee and then you trap them in melee you know what i mean like right 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 it's half you know it's almost like it would have been better to be trapped in melee especially with uh that yes right? yeah yeah keep consuming with it not yeah you have to really uh look at that part like that's a great tactic to try to to know how to do it um but i'm glad we tried it like it just showed me that oh uh, well maybe maybe it's not the always the best tactic because if you like if if especially this guy and this guy this this side if he uh went into melee at least him then these this guy no matter what he does he's now by himself mm-hmm. and, and you know he doesn't have a second squad there to help you know? so just I'm just thinking these things as we're sitting here. That's good. Like I said, I'm going to have to redo that video. <laughs> Nothing else because of the fucking map. I it's because of the map. Yeah, there's a big green valley. Well, you can see it there. It's a big just... big green valley there. Running the Oops. I wonder how that would have worked. I wanted to go down to to come up. Maybe slow down. It's a, it'd be a speed bump, but... Starting in row L also is a bit of a hindrance for the Canadians because you have to spend, you know, at least a turn getting within the smell of the building and then you still got to get your way into it. Yeah. That's kind of a nice game. I kind of don't like the fact that you're fighting SS, but it's almost like the SS would be the ones assaulting because but they're so tough, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not that they're so tough. It's the their high firepower for individual squads. It's yeah. just uh, it's a. Uh, we should do a Vichy French against Free French. You want to do that? Yeah, they have a couple like that. Yeah. Just something besides Germans. I can't believe the snipers didn't come in. Well, there's what one sniper roll. Yeah. Usually I'm asleep by now. Hang on. All right. Thanks for coming over, man. I'm glad we got one done. I'm glad we got this out of the way now, yeah. You can take your time doing it. And there we have it. Uh, German victory. Uh, squeak out the last uh, turn again. Another good close scenario, I think. Um, probably the biggest thing we... Uh, well, two things I think we did wrong. One is... Uh, Dave's right. I probably should have sent a couple of guys outside of the building to cut off our lines of approach takes the 
Kane's how much uh, longer to reach the building itself. Now those guys probably would have died depending on how things went. So it's less troops to actually hold the building, but uh, preventing him from getting into the building might have been a better task. So maybe I could have done that one. Uh, the second thing is we, we completely forgot the uh, rumbling chants from the demo charge. Uh, when Dave, you know, after four tries, thankfully I was able to break his leader those four times, but the guy just won't die. Um, when he threw the DC and he rolled crappily for my hex, but he rolled snake eyes for his hex. That's a 4KIA result as an original die roll, which meant on a 3 or less because it's stone, that hex could have been rumbled with a very real chance of rumbling the whole building. Um, <clears throat> so we definitely missed that aspect of it. Uh, Dave could have won just by killing everything. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was uh, the two, I think the two biggest thing. One is a tactical decision. The other one was a rules oversight that we, uh, we forgot to take into account. So... Who knows? Um, but yeah, nice uh, close fought victory. It's a good little scenario. And again, not a lot of flexibility for the German side. You've only got four and a half squads. Yes, they are SS, but they're still only four and a half. And when they start breaking, especially if you deploy a squad outside of the main building as cutoffs, um, that only gives you two and a half squads inside the building to uh, endure whatever comes at you, assuming those outlying positions eventually fold, which they probably would. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, again, the scenario has got a lot of plays. Uh, I'd be interested to hear somebody else's opinions in the comments on how their game went up for this scenario. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's check you guys out in the next video. And bye-bye.